Welcome back to the Lone Ranger Radio Show. My name is Bruce Woodburn. I'm the Lone Ranger. Thank you for tuning in to me today on WDBO. It's a beautiful Sunday. And I'm going to tell you something. Um, it's such an honor to be part of this radio station and be able to help all you guys out there as the local Ask the Experts. Um, I also invite you to tune into my show on Saturdays with Cleve Loveland and the Lone Ranger. That's at noon. So you can always check me out on Saturdays at noon or here on Sundays at 11 o'clock. Always there to provide that accurate information so you get no BS when it comes to buying real estate, refinancing real estate, how to get the right mortgage for you, who should buy, when we should buy, how to save money, how to negotiate. All these are things that we talk about on this radio show. I want to talk about something a little bit different right now. And I want you to write my number down because when I'm finished with this conversation, I would hope you would be compelled to pick up the phone and give me a call and at least set up an appointment. My phone number is 407-706-3313. Write that down. Plug it into your phone even better. The Loan Arranger or Bruce or my mortgage guy. doesn't matter what you call me. 407-706-3313 or webringyouhome.com. So here's what I'm going to talk about. So it's September 26th. We're wrapping up September. By the time October hits, the year just is done. I'm just going to tell you, you know, at once Halloween hits here, I mean, it's just like a flash. The next thing you know, we're celebrating New Year's. However, I want to put something in perspective for all of you. If you're a homeowner, listen to this. If you aren't a homeowner, definitely listen to this. If you have adult children or grandchildren, this message is also for you. I could have you into a home by Christmas, no problem. And more than likely, right now, if we get the process started, it'd be easy for me to have you in a home by Thanksgiving. How would you like to own your own home by Thanksgiving? How would that feel for you if I could get you into a home by Thanksgiving? Celebrate around the Christmas turkey, okay, or whatever it e you eat, a ham, with your family and go, you know what, this is mine. I'm going to tell you a story about the first house I ever owned, okay. It was in Apopka near Bear Lake. Paid $107,000 for this home. And I can remember, I closed on that home and I, 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 I was in disbelief. I didn't believe that I actually owned a piece of property. But here's the thing that you get when you own a piece of property. You actually own a part of the planet. You're no longer a tenant on this planet. Is your family, are your friends, are you a tenant on this planet? Or do you own a piece of the planet? Because my wife looks in the backyard and she sees me back there. She goes, what are you doing? You're kicking dirt around with your foot. I'm like, honey, this is my dirt. I own this piece of land all the way down to the core of the earth. I own this piece of land. And that feels really good to me. It feels like I've accomplished something. It feels like I made it. It feels like I've got some type of stake of the planet. Wouldn't you like that? Don't you want your grandchildren to have that? Don't you want your children to have that? And some of you may be listening and you're like, yeah, but my kids aren't responsible enough. Yes, they are. They are. The problem are, is, is they're not empowered. Here's the thing. If you're an adult parent right now, you're going to end up leaving your children or grandchildren money anyway. You're going to leave it to them. But instead of them going out and frivolously spending this on junk, which you know they would do, get them to lock it up in real estate. Get them to buy a home. Help them out with a down payment. There's ways we can do gifts. It's got to be documented, but you can give them a gift. Why not give a gift of inheritance now? And if you feel so compelled that they might not be responsible enough to be able to maintain that, then put yourself on the deed. Don't put yourself on the note. Put yourself on the deed. Don't mistake the note with the mortgage with the deed. They're all different things. Put yourself on the deed. You have ownership of the property. Nobody can refinance it, pull money out without your permission, and yet you're not responsible for the debt. It's a great idea. What a great way to pass on your legacy. Because once you're dead, you can't control where that money's spent. Yeah, you can create a trust or you can create a will, but you're not going to control it. It's going to be spent. 
Wouldn't it be horrible to know that your hard-earned money that you work for was frivolously spent on something so ridiculous? No, you know it would be. So protect your own investment and leave a legacy for those. I'll help you with that. And listen, you want to get your adult kids in front of me? If you Listen, I got no problem. No problem. All of you who know me out there and you hear me, my loyal listeners, you know, they're like, Bruce, I didn't believe you were kind of getting firm with me on the phone. Yes, because I want to help you. I care about you. When you send your, your children to me, your adult children, if they get a lecture from me, it's because they needed one. They needed one. And you know what? I needed them. There were people that cared enough to go, dude, you're not doing this right. You're screwing this thing up. Don't you wish the financial person or somebody that you hired would actually do that to you or to your children if they needed it? Really, if they needed it. How about somebody that can say, no, 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 come on, man. You don't need the Harley. You don't need the boat right now. You don't have any money in savings. You're living month to month and yet you got a boat and a Harley. What kind of, what kind of smart thing is that to do? Or you got children and sooner or later they're going to need to go to college and you have no money to put them through college. How about your retirement? How much money do you have in retirement? I look at a lot of you guys and you know, you know, I see all your financials because that's what I do. Right. And I look at that and I'm like, do you really think you're going to have enough money to retire on? And if you're not disciplined enough to max out your 401k, do an IRA, invest in stocks, invest in mutual funds, if you're not disciplined enough for that, guess what? I got the answer for you. Buy real estate. It's forced savings. And you got to live somewhere anyway. 407-706-3313. You got adult children or grandchildren? You want me to yell at them and get them straight? Turn me on to them. I'll get them straightened out. Don't you worry. You know why? I will do it and I will show you my path. I'll show you what I did. Do you think I was always on the straight and narrow? Heck no. No way, man. I made plenty of mistakes. I made plenty of mistakes, like a lot of mistakes, like too many to even talk about on the air. I'm not perfect. I'm not a financial genius. I'm not even close. But you know what I am? I know how to make money in real estate and I know one thing. It's a guaranteed for savings. Why not help somebody? Why not help your grandchildren or your children? 407-706-3313. I know you're out there. You're sharpening the blade to your lawnmower right now. I see you. You're in the workshop. You're tinkering with a bird cage or something like that. I don't know what you're doing. You're cleaning the floor. You can't get that spot out that uh, Stuffy left on there a couple weeks ago. But you know what you can do? You can change the planet. You can change the planet right now. And I know, don't listen, I don't want to sound grandiose. I'm just telling you, you actually have the opportunity to change your life and to change your planet. If you own a property and you're going to end up leaving money to your kids, let's help them out with a gift. I'll, I'll protect it for you. I'll make sure that it's protected, that it's not frivolously spent. And you can watch them grow. And have something to be proud of. Do you know that a home, let me just, <coughs> excuse me. Do you know that a homeowner, there's, we all know the economic benefits of homeownership, right? We all know that you don't make money renting, you make money owning. Pretty simple. We all get that, right? Doesn't take a rocket science to figure that out. You want to know some other statistics? Your children are 116 times more likely to attend college if you're a homeowner. 116 times. Hey, teenage pregnancy. You have a 20% less chance of a teenage pregnancy in your household if you're a homeowner versus a renter. Now, I don't know about you, but as an adult with an 18-year-old child, even though she's 18 now, that could be devastating for my retirement if I got to now take care of another child. <clears throat> How many of you out there are doing that right now? Okay, how about alcohol and substance abuse issues are lower with homeowners than they are of renters? How about your children will have 9% higher math grades and 7% higher reading and English grades if you're a homeowner versus a renter? Those aren't statistics that I made up. Those are, those are university statistics. You want to know another statistics from the Department of Labor and Statistics? That if you are 
a homeowner, you will stay with your employer four times longer than a renter. Four times longer than a renter if you're a homeowner. Now, wake up all of you business owners out there that are listening to this show right now. Because if you don't help your employees become homeowners, you're actually hurting yourself and them. You are in the way of yourself and them. Because I know what it's like to recruit new people. I know how laborious it is, how painful it is to go through the interview process. Then you find somebody and then you got to keep them. Okay. And then you got everybody in your competition trying to steal your good people away from you. Why not help your people become homeowner? If you're a business owner, help your employees become homeowners. I have a program called my employee benefit program where I go into corporations and I've done some big corporations and some small corporations where I go in and I teach your employees how to become homeowners and they take advantage of our employee benefit program. And they can get up to like $4,000 off of closing costs by using my system and an approved real estate agent. Why wouldn't you do that? They're going to stay with you longer. They're going to love you for it. And you don't even have to contribute as an employer. Some of you may. I've had employers that said, you know what? I'll chip in a thousand bucks into that. Maybe that's you. How important are your employees to you? If they're important to you and you want to keep them longer and you want to show them that you care about them, help them become a homeowner. What what more could you do for them? What more could you do for them? It's like a bonus that keeps on giving for eternity. 407-706-3313. 407-706-3313. I'm the loan arranger. We bring you home.com. Ask the experts. I, uh, Appreciate you listening, tuning into my radio show. As you can see, I'm very passionate about what I do here. Very passionate. Okay. I love what I do. I love helping people. I love helping people. I love helping young people. Man, if you're in your 20s and you don't own a home, buy a home in your 20s. Here's another statistic. You have a 70% greater chance on retiring as a millionaire if you buy a home in your 20s. 70% greater chance. Because once you're in real estate, you stay in real estate. Nobody goes and buys a home and then turns around and rents unless you had a catastrophic problem and you just couldn't buy anymore, right? And that can happen. But then we help you get out of that and back into ownership again so you make money. 407-706-3313. Send your family over to me. Let me help them. Let's get these folks on the straight and narrow. Let me help you with your refinance if you hadn't refinanced yet. Hey, you might be one of the 81% that should refinance and hadn't refinanced yet. All you got to do is go to webringyouhome.com. Write that down, man. It's super easy. Webringyouhome.com. That's my website. It's easy. Go there. Apply online. Let's get you into a house. Let's refi. Let's purchase. But let's start getting into the market and saving money right now today. My team will be there to help you. I return calls on Mondays. Going to be taking a little bit of time away with the family. So my team's going to cater to you while I'm out. And then we'll set it up. They'll set an appointment for you to meet with me when I get back. But I want you to pick up the phone and help somebody. If you're not helping yourself, let's help somebody. Let's help them. Let's stop letting these family members get in their own way. And let's get them into a position where they can start realizing what life's all about. And quit being a tenant on this planet and be an owner of the planet. Isn't that horrible horrible to be a, a tenant on the planet? You're just a renter? You're not even permanent. An alien could snatch you up and take you away. You don't own anything here. And believe me, your Harley and your George Foreman grill don't count. Okay? Let's get a piece of the land. Anchor in, baby anchor in you own a piece of dirt you got a foundation you even got a shed in the back all right i mean how much better is it than that 407-706-3313 407-706-3313 i'm the loan arranger or we bring you home.com we'll be back in five minutes with more of the loan arranger radio show bruce woodburn cross country Movie.